lines here and the other day i had a auto hockey expert interview with uh, rick c out of here in dallas and he mentioned that he had automated um using auto hockey and ffmpeg to record videos very quickly and so um he sent me what he had and, and, and he had some great stuff but he had part of it was using Perl to figure out the, the, the dimensions of your desktop and this and that. So I borrowed from it. I also found, which I haven't checked with him yet, but um, there was this other, uh, what's it called here? Um, GDI Grab, um, which allowed me, because in his example, I had to download this um, U-Screen, I think it was something like that. And uh, I found, it, and it's just a, a plugin or, or some sort of an extension for FFmpeg. Uh, but I, I found that actually it's just if you have an FFmpeg um, on your computer, you don't even have to install it, right? You have the executable on your computer. Um, you can use it as is. And so let me real quickly here, um, I, I put some links to the documentation so that obviously you got to get um, FFmpeg. This is this is directly to this GDI grab, which allows you to, to grab your desktop. Uh, I think I actually could say also the webcam and whatnot. Um, this next line here. It, it it if you run it if you run this command at the command prompt so all this stuff you're doing at the command prompt um in my script here i'm hiding the command prompt when i run it but um this would list the um, actually you know what do i have let me uh, i'd have to navigate to it all right i'm not going to monkey with that now but um it would list the devices and that's where i got this info here for for my microphone when i ran that command it told me this is what i put in here um and so just real briefly here so now when i hit Control shift r First, it's gonna delete if I happen to have, because the I didn't check to see, there's probably a way to tell FFmpeg to automatically overwrite a file if it exists, but I just threw this in here because it's quick and easy. Um, so first I delete the temp file just in case it's there. And then I was setting up my parameters just so it fits a little better in the screen because it's, it's a long command here. Um, so I'm making some parameters, I store it here, this is a buffer size. I was reading, I don't, I don't even know what that is other than just obviously a buffer helps with the memory. But um, it, it, I was getting these warnings and so I just Googled the warning and I didn't even read anything about it. It just said recommended like this to set it to a thousand or I think Rick actually had his at 2000. Um, but I was getting another error and so I, so I backed it off to 1500, that error went away. This thread queue size, I have no idea what that is, but um, I was getting warnings on that and so I added that. These I would say though are optional, right? You don't necessarily have to have them. Um, the next one, this is where you're telling it, use the, the um, GDI grab. And then I set, this is where I just looked under Windows display and said, what are the dimensions of my desktop? And so I went and got it and typed them in here. And sure enough, this is my main, the one we're looking at right now is my main desktop. And so it, it, um, it grabs this, these dimensions. Uh, I'm not sure if that's telling it to grab, uh, obviously it says desktop. So I'm going to say it's, it's telling it, get the desktop. I don't know if I'd have to change that if I wanted my webcam in there. Um, I don't recall what, I think this is supposed to show you an outline, but because I'm getting the entire desktop earlier when I did this, I grabbed just a, an area and it showed on the screen. I could see what I was recording. I think that's what that does. Um, and also, by the way, you can, if you play with this, you could tailor it down to say, just give me this program, right? Um, I, I want it just to be default, hit my desk, grab my desktop, um, grab the audio. Um, here were some other ones is filter. I, I noticed for whatever reason, the audio recording was really low. And so I, I just Googled that and found this filter a, and this I think is supposed to put it to like 150% of what it would be. So it'll increase your audio volume. And the, um, this had something to do with the format, the file format and how it's saving it. The other thing that's what I realized was the U screen one. It, it defaulted to 30, no. 10 frames per second, maybe something like that. I read a, a hack that you could change your registry and default it to 30, but um, this one I think by default was 30, and, and the other one was a little jumpy, a little bit. It's, it worked fine for, for most purposes, but for recording for tutorials or whatever, not that I'm gonna use this for that, but uh, it is super easy. Um, and then I, this is where I'm giving it my file name to save it as. So first I save as my temp file. Um, this tells it to go ahead and now launch FFmpeg with those parameters, um, and then wait, um, whatever 150 milliseconds is, you know, it's a fraction of a second, and then minimize, because this pops open, this run command will pop open your command window, and then I just tell it to minimize it so I don't see it. You'll still see it over here in the task bar, but it won't be a big block on the screen. Um, and then when I'm done, 
I have it set to say Control Shift S. Again, with hotkeys, I try to go in patterns, right? So Control Shift R is record and Control Shift S is stop for me in my brain. Um, and that's why I wrote it that way. And this, I'm going to actually embed this in my main script. So I can always have this at my fingertips. And if someone's doing something and I want to quickly start recording uh, on my desktop, my main desktop, because I have three monitors right now, um, I can just hit Control Shift R and it'll start recording. Um, and and so when I hit Control Shift F, S, sorry, it sends Control C to that hidden command win, um, DOS console window. And so what a terrible hotkey, right? Control C to, to stop the program from running. But thankfully I don't have to remember that. Um, this will automatically do it. Then it sleeps for just a little bit. And then what I did was I built in here a quick input box to say, hey, what do you want to call the file? Because I don't want to have to think about that when I want to record something quickly. I don't want to have to think about what do I want to name this file as I start it. I want to start recording right away. And then when I'm done, just have a prompt say, what do you want to record it? If I don't give it a name, it'll still save it as the temp file. It doesn't delete it. But if, if I do want to give it a name, it will rename that file somewhere, somewhere in here. It'll open the directory because often I'll want to actually move that file. If I like that thing, I want to move it right away. So I want to pop it open. Uh, but then it, actually I have it right now also where it runs the video. So let's let's go ahead and give this a try. I, I Let me make sure I relaunch it to where it's running. All right. And I'm going to hit Control Shift R. And you're going to see it blink up here for a second. So do you see that blink? But notice over here now, this is this is hit. It's a it's a hidden command window, so it's running and it's recording right now. So, in essence, I'm actually recording twice. I'm using OBS for recording this overall. That's what I, I was going to use the tool for that, but I realized how would I demonstrate running it if I can't right within the own the own program. So anyway, um, I, I should have had more coffee apparently before I realized that. Uh, and then now now it's been recording. I'm going to hit Control Shift. S and it's going to stop recording. It's going to open that folder, which actually, let me make sure this is closed. Um, it's going to open that folder and then it's going to launch it. I think the launch, I think my player is on another desktop, but I'll bring it over. So control shift R so it should stop it. Oh, it's not. I just started another one. Oh no. Control shift S. Ah, boy. Now I'm confused. Um, first, I don't know which one that's going to be. So, and now I think it's still running. So, uh, you know what? All right, let me let me exit out of it. Control C, that'll stop that. Control C, there it goes. All right, stop that. My bad. I gotta learn my hotkeys, but this is why you, you practice, right? So I'm gonna, come on. So I closed that, let me get rid of, actually it's gonna delete it for me. I don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna relaunch it. Um, and now control shift R. Okay, it blinked up. It's recording. This here is recording. Okay, and you know, I'm gonna have to think about how would I stop it from launching a second one because that's that's not good. Uh, but control shift S now. Okay, what do I want to name it? Just a test. And now it's oh it blinked up. It recording. opened it. This here is recording. Okay, and on you know, the other, have to come on. Think about how would I trying to move from launching a second one because that's that's not good. Um, but Control Shift S now. So here's my VLC player, and that's where I just stopped it. Let me um, I'll go ahead and start it again just to play it. Blinked up. It's recording. So you can it's see the the quality okay, is pretty darn sharp. You know, I'm gonna have to. Let me mute the. How would I stop it from sound here? One, um, but the quality is pretty darn sharp, um, and it's still going, and then and then it's done. So anyway. That's a, an example. FFmpeg is a free program. It's um, granted the file itself is roughly 60 meg, so it's cut a little big, not not terrible, not for what it's doing, and um, it, uh, you don't even have to install it, right? You just put the executable on your program on your computer, and and then with this command, you, you know you're going to need to tweak it. But um, I just thought this was pretty cool. Yeah, Auto Hotkey obviously has uh, we could we could add a front end to this to first like you know get the dimensions of your desktop and ask, maybe ask you which desktop you want to have as your default recording one and then store those settings because all of that's really easy not a hotkey but for me this isn't this is a, a set and done right i'm not going to be changing it so i didn't bother to build it uh but anyway hope you like it and thank you bye